doing today is we have a mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. It is their uh, blind box damage. I can't remember who what the top hits were, but chances are I'm not going to see one anyways. But always, always willing to try. We do have four pops in here from Spastic Collectibles. I always like this. I got like a ton of those boxes because I do like spastics. They typically stay really. I've I don't think I've ever not gotten my money back from them. Uh, so you know, I said give them a try if you haven't ever tried them. I there's so many mystery boxes out there that I still want to try, like Epic Collectibles. Um, uh, let's see, um, Pop King Paul. Uh, I can't think of none of them, but some of those ones I just I've never been able to find. They either dropping them, they're already sold out way before I find out about them. But let's see what we got here in these boxes. Our first pop is. Oh, I don't feel like we have any. Oh, none of them are in sorter. That's weird. Normally there's at least one, but anyways, let's see what we got here. First up, we have Majin Vegeta. Dragon Ball Z. I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan. I tried watching it. I just, I can't. That The silliness they get into is just beyond me. But anyways, uh, let's see. Let's see what this one's running at. Eventually I'll get down to where I can actually put like the total in the corner like most other people do. But for right now we're doing it old school. I'll just scan it as we go. And he's worth $13. So, not too bad. Next up, oh wait, we do have one in a pop and protector. I was wrong. We have Chachi from Happy Days. And, you know, a little, little bit. I think that's from the actual inside. It does have a little bit like it won't flatten down, but I'll see if I can fix that later. Chachi from Happy Days. He is worth... No price yet. Apparently, they're brand. The Happy Days are brand new. I have seen these. I didn't, I thought they weren't that new, but hey, everybody loves Chachi, right? Ain't that we, that was old, the old show. Next, we have Bugs Bunny and Superman with the special edition sticker. I actually do already have this pop. He's right up there. I have all the Looney Tunes as the superheroes. I got him right next to the Big Bang Theory people. But let's see what he's running at. running at eighteen dollars not too bad not too bad of a pop eighteen bucks and lastly we have <laughs> judo freddy from the box of fun hey that's not too bad of a pop box of fun i think he's actually going for like sixty bucks or so maybe we'll find out in just one second fifty bucks he was at sixty so, I definitely got my money back. As, like I said, it's only $60. And I didn't see any damage on any of these pops. The Chachi, like I said, has that light, slight, you can see kind of like it's bubbled up on top. I'm sure that's something I can fix by taking it out and readjusting them. Looks like he just might be out of, his, out of his case a little bit. But hey, not too bad, not too bad. You know, I paid $60 for it and I almost got my money back in Judo Freddy. So, hey. What can I say? I can't really argue with that. Judy Fred, Judo Freddy is kind of cool looking. Don't think I'll be keeping him. I only think I only have one Freddy Funko in my collection. And that's the werewolf one. I wanted the flocked one, but uh, he's just astronomical right now. I'm hoping he'll come down and settle. Or I'll find somebody who will do me a trade or something. Uh, that'd be ideal. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys today is I did do the Big Ten Mystery Box from Spastic as well. I was trying to get the Bugs Bunny or the Marvin the Martian Artist Series. Did not get that. What I did get was Stitch, which I will be keeping. And the Spider-Man uh, Maximum Venom Groot. Venomized Groot. So that will be going in a future um, giveaway, I'm sure. I don't, I don't see myself keeping that one, so it'll probably go up to that. Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to go over, as I said, I try to finish every video with a little personal uh, pop that I enjoy and for some reason or another, and I'll kind of tell you why, but this one right here, this one I went after from the moment I started collecting, especially since I really like the flock pops. I know some people don't, but I do. 
and that is the flop gossamer a 3500 piece i looked high and low for this guy and he led me to my duck dodgers so in a way he kind of doomed me but i absolutely love this pop you can see the detail on him is magnificent great pop very very undervalued i feel but that's it that's that's my my pick for it uh anyways we're climbing up we're still getting subscribers I tell people to get up let's get these 50 subscribers because as of now there are going to be probably eight giveaways once we hit 50. so not five no more it'll be eight and remember because of shipping and everything else like that that's only for people within the continental united states um, possibly Mexico and Canada. I got to double check on the figures on that. So if you're from those two, you still have a chance of winning. If not, um, sorry. Yeah, I wish it was, uh, there was a different way we could do this, but unfortunately it's just not feasible, um, monetarily to ship outside of the United States at the moment. So anyways, uh, thank you for coming in. Please t tell your friends, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember collectors help collectors.